So I've just rolled out of bed. We've got a little question here, which is a, it's a pretty good question. I thought I'll answer it. But the question up here. Your narrow food pyramid of hardly any room for fat and protein wouldn't worth, be worth shit in cold conditions of the temperate zone winters and arctic conditions. There is a reason why Wim Hof, at the end of his arctic marathon, is munching down on greasy meat. Not that I approve of something striving towards vegan myself, but there's a time and place for more wholesome fats like avocados and nuts, not just watery, sweet fruit like your tropical fruitcake diet. Now I've just woken up. I don't need coffee. I don't need coffee because I just turn on YouTube or Facebook and read the comments and it, it instantly wakes me up. I've literally just crawled out of bed. Cheers, bananas, man. Get your bananas on the floor. <laughs> Bikes and fruit, bikes and plant foods, that's what it's about. So, let me put on my thinking cap. Pretty lean there this morning. That tricep shelf. <laughs> All them carb fattening carbohydrates. Triceps are still ripped. Always got to check the triceps. Anyways, enough posing. No roids, just rage, remember. Is there a time for healthy fats? Yeah, I mean, every time I eat bananas, I'm eating fat. There's fat and protein in bananas. There's fat and protein in lettuce. There's fat and protein in everything you eat. If it's whole plant food, there's all essential fatty acids, there's all eight essential amino acids, as long as it's a whole plant food. And if it's raw, you're not cooking it. Do I eat avocado nuts? Definitely. Definitely. Do I make them a big part of my diet? No. Why? Because we know that eating over 10% of calories from fat as an adult is going to goop up your blood massively massively so as an athlete I want to be lightweight so I can have fast legs I want to have low fat diet so my blood is clean so I can have fast legs the fat you eat is the fat you wear if I had to go to the arctic circle and run a marathon I'd still be preferring to have sugar 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 because sugar is what's going to let you do it eating fat all eating fat does is going to store more fat on your body is that Jackie going to? No, go Jackie with an extra 10 kilos. Okay. So why is this guy eating a fucking meat after a marathon? <laughs> this is like stupid. He's going to be fucking slow as, man. If you're eating fat to fuel yourself, you're going to be fucking slow. Okay. If you've got nothing else on the planet to eat but penguin shit, dolphin intestines, whale blubber, seal brains, then you got to eat what you got to eat to survive. But if you've got the choice between organic mangoes, date people, fucking black things, peanut butter dates from Arizona, cherimoyas, certified organic grown in uh, Carpinteria, California, or organic durian from Chanterbury, Thailand, or chumpadak, biodynamically grown in Talak Bahang, Penang, Malaysia, what the fuck are you going to eat? I know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to be eating that sugary stuff and feeling fucking amazing and staying lean all year long. So no roids, just rage. <laughs> so if you want to have more fat on your body, eat more fats. The fat you eat is the fat you wear effortlessly. You want to store more fat, eat more fat. If you have to survive in the Arctic, you might not be able to find a penguin tomorrow. You need to eat the fat today to store that fat for tomorrow. So eat more fats to store more fats. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. Low body fat, I don't eat much fat. Simple as that, okay? It's sort of about that clear. Yes, we need fat, we need protein, they're essential nutrients. Do you get enough fat and protein from fruits and vegetables? Right, raw, organic, whole foods, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you do. If you don't, then I couldn't have won over 20 running races this year. Okay? Just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. Dan the man couldn't have cycled across the fucking USA. Okay? Just so we're clear. <laughs> and Osborne's children would have died in the first month, in the first year, if fruits and vegetables didn't contain all the essential fats and proteins. They do. Okay? They do. So if you get enough calories, you get enough fats and proteins from fruits and vegetables. You can add in your rice, you can add in your avocados, 
You can add in more nuts and seeds and have cashews for breakfast and feel like you've got a brick in your gut. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying that this is what I do, so what Freely does, weight loss, high energy, vitality, satisfaction, performance, lean, all year long, over time, shit happens good. So I hope that answers the question. If it doesn't, post it down below. Post all your fucking questions down below, because I love reading them and I'm eventually get back to them sometimes, but post your comments down below and also post where are you from? If you want to network and meet more people, maybe post, write a comment, hey Harley, you're a fuck weird. I hate your videos. You know, Dan from uh, Saratoga, upstate New York, or hey Harley, I love your videos. You know, Shelly from uh, South Salido, California, or hey Harley, what about protein? You know, Michael from uh, Kangaroo Island, South Australia, whatever, just post where you're from, and that way people can say, oh, hey, you're just around the corner for me, man. Let's, 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 let's uh, network up and maybe start a cop or go have lunch or whatever, go training or whatever, share some ideas, whatever. So build that little community. Feel free to do that on my channel, always. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Carb the fuck up.